The X1 series of space bikes are in the game, and the 400i can host them. But I'm finding these damaged X1s and damaged 400i's throughout the PTU and in 3.22 Live. And I gotta say that uh, I think I know why. So there's different kinds that are weaponized versus not weaponized on the three different X1s. I'm going to go into those in a little bit. But note that this 400i is an example of what I keep finding, where it's a damaged at the front 400i, and then damaged uh, X1s that usually it's tail or the front as well that is damaged. And it's because it's very difficult to get the space bike in and out of the dock currently. It's small little housing at the front of the 400i. It's extremely tight. This is my X1 Force that I'm showing here with the long weapon on the front and the long tails on the back. And while it is a very sleek looking fun space bike that has a lot of good to it, uh, it has uh, some teething issues. So getting this thing in, <laughs> in the dark, in storms, etc., on the 400i is quite, uh, quite a challenge at the moment. And I think this will be worked on, but uh, the gist is you have to line it up. You can't use uh, F4 and use the uh, advanced camera view to look outside because you end up looking inside the ship, your own ship. And uh, if you tap slightly too far forward because of the weaponized X1, the X1 regular and the X1 force, uh, you will end up basically tapping the weapon into the pylon that holds the garage. And uh, that's not good. So the con thankfully the controls for the garage are outside. Um, I ended up doing this move too, and I recommend you do this as well. Whenever you're stowing and taking out the uh, X1, uh, lower your uh, ladder, uh, I should say your stairs, and utilize that for safety um, from the elements and also from possibly if the X1 explodes. The ship should have far more hit points than the little X1. Uh, if you forget to turn the engine off like me, I left this in because I wanted you to see it. Um, it goes haywire. It starts trying to climb up the side of the 400i when you hop off. And then it falls back down. And then it looks like it's going to uh, pop right there on the pad. Uh, so be sure to hit the I button and turn your engines, turn its engine off, its propulsion off uh, before. But you can wrangle it back. Once again, I, I figure <laughs> it's like a bull ride trying to do this. But you can do it. Uh, this is one of those situations, too, where probably a big good idea if you're in a multi-crew scenario where you have at least one other player around uh, that can heal you if you get incapacitated trying to take the X1 back. So uh, this is me going, know what you're getting into. Uh, these 400 eyes are really nice ships. Once again, the advanced camera view is useless for this. Um, um, keep your staircase open. And it's kind of like you sit further back than you would like, that you feel. You turn the engine off. And then you hop out and leave it on this place. Now, uh, when you close it, the garage door, it scrapes. So if you continue to use it, it will eventually degrade the front or end or the back of the 400i there. And that's why we're seeing so much, in my opinion, 400i damage and X1 forces with the tail and the front even damaged uh, due to how, just how tight it is in that garage. It seems like the X1 velocity, the mid-grade one, uh, that does not have a weaponized front would be the best option at this moment for this. You'll note it'll scrape while it leaves. <laughs> uh, so it, it's quite a challenge. Uh, one of the other things is the 400i has this weird footprint where it has that front foot that's big and then it's got like the two wide front and like frog-like back to it that, that this rests good. That front makes a huge difference where you land because no, most places that you're exploring are not flat landing pads especially places you'd want a space bike to ride around in and check things out. So bear that in mind that wherever you land, especially pay close attention to the front. But I showed in that scene where I could, where I jumped up onto the pad from a slight, from a slight angle and it all was well, but, uh, and you can use the staircase as well for that trick too. I think that you would easily be able to hop from the staircase onto it. But if you miss that jump, um, it would be difficult. You'd have to go back to the uh, ship elevator in the, the the vehicle elevator in the back of the of of the four hundred I. Lower the the ship the vehicle elevator of the ship, and um, utilize that to get back inside and try again. So it's not ideal right now. Um, the weapon system on the X one Force at least is a pretty nice little bulldog repeater. Uh, it does have shields. It does have flare the equivalent of flares and chaff but in the game it's decoy and noise etc um so you can see there i'm popping those um which was a pleasant surprise 
This is quite a capable little ship with the force upgrades. And uh, if you're wondering, it can take a hit once in a while, uh, at least uh, bumping into things and such. But it doesn't have infinite hit points like any vehicle in the game. Uh, one other thing to note is that the vehicle itself is at the 55 USD price point for the force. And then you have the velocity at 50 USD. And then you have the standard X1 at 45 USD. The velocity was the most expensive one on the list up until uh, yesterday, I think it was, or specifically on Friday, uh, which would have been uh, December 16. But then they updated the price list and uh, said that the Force is the most expensive one now. So if you already have the Force, you're good. Notice it skips over uh, a lot of objects that would normally even stop a Nova or a Storm and they would have a hard time negotiating. This thing can kind of like skip across them. And it's not just because it's a hover bike, but also because it has like an this this nice conical shape where certain things you can get away with scraping over them, but not under them. It seems to be that's kind of the gimmick and my limited testing. So... I, I like this thing. It's a little hard to control. Uh, I will be honest, next time I use it, I will have the scroll wheel down a little bit more. I was a little aggressive with the boosting. You can see here when I hold down shift. And then also the scroll wheel was a little high, but I was having fun with it. It's a good little vehicle to pick up. It is not something you would want to replace a spaceship that has quantum drives with uh, you see Ewing 2. But all in all, it's a great little ship. Enjoy it, have fun with it, know its limitations, and understand what it can do and what it can't do. Uh, another thought I have is that it can fit in a lot of places that are not a 400i. So, you know, if you have a little extra space and a Herc squeezing it in next to a much larger vehicle, you could have a couple X1s even if you wanted to. Or the upcoming Liberator comes to mind, would be wonderful assets for this. And thinking on a smaller scale, I would love to test this out with a Freelancer Max. Uh, I could see maybe maybe even two of these things stacked up inside of the Lancer Max. That would be very interesting. And if the back of a Valkyrie comes to mind, uh, these type of ships would be very nice. It does hop up when you fire up the engine. So bear that in mind that if you are scraping the top of the, 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 the top of the ship, you need to be very careful. Like you, you need to be very deliberate and Activate the engines and scoot out and do as little scraping as possible, not just for the ship's sake, but for your own sake and on, on this vehicle. So that's all the thoughts I have right now on the X1. Very interesting little ship, vehicle, I should say. Um, I have heard that the space bikes are losing uh, their shields, except things like the X1. So we'll see where that shakes out in the near future. And I think that they're trying to uh, mold the X1 into a more defensive type vehicle that has some offense capabilities, uh, especially having the ability to decoy missiles and, and throw them off with the different types of IR and EM style missiles is a welcome, I think, thing for this type of vehicle. Uh, the fact that it has physical anatomy that protects you on the front and the back is always good, not just from uh, not just from weaponry, but also from the elements. Uh, remember that there is ballistic weaponry as well, and rocks and other physical threats that we, that I think that having a few somethings of hit points, uh, kind of acting as spaced armor before it actually hits your chest or your helmet armor, is a nice touch. Um, so some of the more exposed bikes, like if you're comparing it to a dragonfly and saying, well, this thing only has one seat that has two, uh, they're in different kind of classifications. That's a very exposed vehicle, more utility minded because you have that back seat and you can fiddle with a tractor beam on the back. For, if you have a passenger, um, remember it's, it's uh, I'm talking about handheld tractor beams. It doesn't come with one, but, um, it, so it, I think the X one's kind of a different molding. Uh, also, uh, the vehicle itself can fit into the 400i. They are very good together, except for the limitations currently that I described and showed. Um, and uh, hopefully they'll add some type of little mini docking system like the Connie has with its snub. So in this case, the space bike with the 400i would probably be wise. All right. Uh, so this was kind of a shorter video, a little bit in-depth about the X1. I wanted to thank you all to my long subscribers for sticking around. If you have any comments or thoughts, or if you just tested it out and you found a better way, maybe backing it in onto the 400i, um, <laughs> maybe sending it straight up the steps, uh, somebody want to roll the dice and see if that'll work. Um, I, I'm all ears and I will certainly uh, boost that comment as much as possible and mention it in my next video as well, trying to propagate uh, ideas that come from the community uh, to help make people enjoy these vehicles that they pick up better. And uh, don't 
Always remember, uh, last, last, last thought, um, just remember, this will be for sale in the game. It will be very cheap. It won't be as cheap as like a dragonfly, but just think dragonfly and maybe a third more, and then you've got origin. It is luxury, but at the end of the day, it is just a very, very nice space bike. That's all I got. Thanks.